If you are an advanced user or experienced, this video may not be for you, but shout out to Logitech G immensely for sponsoring today's video. Because today we are going to demonstrate three different macros that can help simplify fundamentals to help you become a better gamer. Timestamps in the description and pinned comment. Also, can we be honest here? Macros do get a bad reputation and blur the line towards cheating when their intended use was accessibility. Even games like World of Warcraft have them just in their game by default. Additionally, learning to press every button on your keyboard is important. When I played in the US Top 10 Guild, I used to run around just the main city in World of Warcraft and press every button and shift modifier just to get better while I was vibing in a voice call. So now let us define a macro. Macros help gamers simplify a chaotic control requirements by reducing sequences to a push of a button. It simplifies the input as a single button and it can perform a sequence of actions. They can be used for doing regular, mundane, or at times complex tasks without requiring repetitive keystrokes. That is where accessibility comes in. When repeating a specific function in a weird or odd way, this can cause issues with your hands and really your joints. Now, here is my moral stance. If it cannot be done with human hands, it's an unfair advantage. Additionally, things that control recoil for you or produce things too easily that removes all skill is also cheating. These things we are sharing are just fundamentals and don't truly remove the advanced skill factor. Now, let us talk about how you set this up. Step one, you load up Logitech G software and navigate to your keyboard. Step two, click on any button that you want to map things out on. Step three, click on an assignment. Step four, click on macro. Then step five, you just start naming your macro. From there, you can set up and create any macro you want, and this will segue to our first case use. Example number one, Apex Legends slide jumping. Believe it or not, slide jumping even at gold and platinum is not done well at all. I mean, I guess it's just forgotten. In this footage, you can see in a recent spectating series, that was one of my biggest notes. Here's the concept. You put away your gun when it's not in use and you traverse faster with a cadence of a slide and jump. You essentially go with the beat of slide and then jump. You essentially wait until you can see your hands on screen. And so then you know you have enough momentum built and then you slide and jump. Now, when I say you need this as a fundamental, it should be done without thinking. Footage shown is without a macro all thus far. I just do it without thinking. This can be done, you know, you're scouting enemies, communicating to teammates, and you plan your next encounter. So by an experienced player, yes, this can be easy. I press Z to toggle crouch, then space to jump, and I wait for the hands to appear, rinse and repeat. We're going to create a sequence though. So what we're gonna do in one button, we're going to follow this logic. We'll replace the C key here. We wanted to start with crouch, then jump. What we're gonna add here is a delay of 190 milliseconds between and clean up on the other side, the timings. This way it's all in one button, easy. Now the footage you're seeing is just one button. Just tab right back in, it's amazing practice and can help you immensely to improve and understand the timing. Now example two, on Marvel Rivals, let us handle a simple one when it comes to Invisible Woman. This can be done easily by clicking your ultimate and placing it. You click your ultimate and you drop it with mouse click. What we're gonna do in game is buying an alternate mouse click to you. Another tip is you can put these buttons close together and roll your fingers across it and that can work as well. Why? I mean, people struggle with using left hand and right hand. I know it can be weird for certain people, especially when it comes to beginners, but with a simple button, you can now place your ultimate quickly and efficiently. Easy back to back, just the click of a button. The downside is you don't have a moment to play, so you need to ensure where you look is where you intend to drop, but it does clean up your timing. I've shown it can be easily done by human hands and I can be just as fast and maybe faster in some circumstances, but this also can be help for those for accessibility. Now for our final example, for those content creators and streamers out there, when you're gaming, while a stream deck can be useful, having a macro play out in an action can be way easier than taking your hand off the keyboard. Let us say we activate a scene shift, the next sequence to activate a sound or anything else. Let's start over by, you know, clicking on the button B. This way, in the heat of the moment, your hand never leaves the keyboard. And instead of taking your hand off and you know trying to press two buttons, you can stay in the action in game with one keystroke. You'll see on screen as we start to navigate, we go to Streamlabs and we set up the sequence. This will pretty much elevate your production quality, but also help to get the creative marks and moments and streams, toggle recording, turn it on and off while you're streaming. 
I mean, there's just so many different ways that you can utilize it for the ease and accessibility of just a simple key, especially when you're trying to do a million things in game. That's where the beauty comes in. This is where as a content creator, if you're trying to, let's say, do a slide jump, trying to do movement and trying to be creative and go to a sound bite or a scene shift, this is where it can be really powerful, especially maybe if you're using an emote in game and then you want the emote to switch to a different scene whenever you do it to kind of flex towards your audience that can be really helpful. So the idea is here taking what would be two to five steps and done simpler and make your life more efficient. Let us know if today's video is helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, we'll see you all in the next one.